Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Matt from Gaming, and before I get into today's video, I just want to really thank you guys so much for over 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys have been so awesome lately, and that's a big milestone for me, and I'm so glad that I actually hit it. I don't know if I thought I ever would hit it, but I did, and that's just so amazing. Thank you guys so much. But anyways, I'm going to jump right into this topic. I want to talk about modders not being able to get banned in GTA Online PC. Now there was a mod menu recently released for the PC and the options in the mod menu are to clear all the reports that your character has gotten from other players. So basically, if you're modding and you're trolling people in online, in random online sessions, they could report you, but once you do get reported, it actually notifies you. A little thing would pop up to the left of your screen notifying you that you have gotten reported. Now that's pretty insane, guys. And the thing is, all the modder needs to do to clear the report is open up the mod menu, go to miscellaneous, and then click clear reports. And you could actually see what you were reported for, like maybe in-game chat is annoying or griefing players, whatever. And it's really detailed, to be honest. Now guys, if you ask me, this actually kind of scares me and makes me worry for you PC players. You could actually, there's an, if you mod on PC, there's basically no way of stopping you. You cannot ever actually get banned. If you, if you are able to clear the reports like that, just like that, then you're basically unstoppable and Rockstar cannot do anything about it. Hopefully though, Rockstar will eventually come up with a fix to that mod because I really don't think it's fair to just be able to, to troll online players and not pay the consequences. That's just not right. And it just seems like all of these modders have really gotten out of control lately. I mean, a couple days ago I did a news report on how modders are actually able to ban other players and now they're unbannable? I think most of you would agree that these modders really need to be stopped. I mean, some of them just mod for fun and they don't like to troll other players. I respect those modders, but when you mod just to make other players mad, that's just, you, you need to get off GTA, if you ask me. But guys, that is basically it for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please drop a like. And also, do you guys think these modders should be stopped? Let me know down in the comments. Guys, before you click away from this video, I actually have a really important question. But if you watched this video all the way through up until this point, then thank you, you're awesome. Even if you didn't and you just skipped to this point, thank you as well. At least you want to listen to me. Anyways, my question is, what should I do for 1,000 subscribers? I'm out of ideas. I really need your help. Now, I'm really depending on you guys on this one. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments. Give me ideas for what I should do to celebrate over 1,000 subscribers. Like I said, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hitting this amazing milestone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.